Hello and welcome everyone. This is Paras and thanks for joining in. Here is my another edition of the series Paras Analytics on Base SAS. In this edition, we are going to cover how to do installation, SAS installation at your system, and then how to import external data in SAS. So as you must have noticed, I have included this additional edition of SAS installation, which I found was very necessary. Although SAS is a licensed and paid software, but SAS has provided this university edition which is free of cost and to help us learn SAS. This is nothing but SAS Studio. This software runs in a virtual environment and we need to install and do the necessary setups. Installation of this software is simple and if you follow the steps as mentioned here, you will be able to install SAS successfully. So here are the steps that I have given you. Uh, I have provided you a link of SAS where this particular software is available free of cost. Once you are into the link, uh, there are four steps. The first one is get the quick start guide. Uh, so there are two guides available over there uh, in PDF form and the other one is the video. The second is install Oracle VirtualBox virtualization software on your machine. So uh, the link for the same is provided. The third one is download the SAS software edition virtualization app. And the last one is follow the steps as in the quick start guide. So let's quickly go to that particular page and see all these steps. So this is the relevant page from where you can download your software. There are various steps that are provided over here. I'll provide the link of this particular page at the bottom below. So before you begin, you need to make sure you meet the minimum system requirement, uh, which is mentioned uh, Windows, this is available for Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10. This is available for 64 bit hardware, minimum 1 GB of RAM should be there. So uh, one of the browsers should be 9, 10 or 11 for Internet Explorer, for Firefox it's 21 and for Google Chrome it's 27 or later. So the first step, uh, you need to make sure you get the quick start guide which is in the form of PDF version or, or the video version. I would prefer the video version because it shows the step by step installation and uh, the step setup. As a step 2, it, uh, it gives the download link for uh, virtual box for Windows. Then in the third one, it gives a link for uh, downloading the SAS University Edition V app. Then in the last step, you need to follow all those steps which are provided uh, in the video or the PDF. So by following these steps, you would be able to successfully install the uh, SAS virtualization software at, uh, at your system. Okay, so once the installation is complete, you need to launch the software. So you need to go to the start button and uh, find out the Oracle VM virtual box. So this is how this is what would come like. So here you can see this is Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager and at the left hand side you will see SAS University Edition has been linked to this uh, uh, virtual box. To start the machine what we need to do we click on machine and click on start, go to start and then a normal start. So once we click on the normal start uh, the virtual box manager for Oracle would start running at at the background and it would start an environment for for launching the SAS studio. So we'll have to wait for some time uh, to 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 get to get it launched. You can see uh, SAS is getting launched. Okay, now, now it looks like uh, the background session is completed, and uh, you can see it's um, it's mentioned you cannot uh, we you can connect to your SAS University Edition software by entering this address in your browser. HTTP uh, colon slash slash localhost one zero zero eight zero. Okay, so let's go to our browser and just uh, connect to SAS University Edition. So 
so here you can see uh, SAS University edition is getting launched yeah so you can see the screen welcome start SAS studio let's click over here So another window pops up uh, for SAS Studio and it, it will automatically sign in and will open up the uh, our editor section where we can start coding our SAS programs. Initially just it takes uh, some, some bit of time but uh, once you are into this SAS Studio session it runs very fast. Okay, so this is how this installation of the SAS University Edition is done and this is how we launch the software. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this and, uh, and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, so as a next step, uh, let's quickly jump to the, our next section which is how to import data in SAS. Okay, how to import external data in SAS. So here what I am going to do is uh, I, I, have a, I have an external sample data saved in a local drive in C drive and that I will try to import in SAS. So let's quickly look at the data. So this is a sales data. Okay, so you can see we have a few columns, so we have around 8 columns, so order date, region, REP, item, uh, country, units, unit cost and total. Then we have number of observations for each variable, so there are around 43 number of observations. Okay, so in the column E you can see there is a uh, column, it, this column is country column and uh, its values are US. If you look at the tab sheet, I have mentioned uh, United States as, as the as the name of the uh, sheet. There is another sheet which is called United Kingdom, and here you can see another data uh, with the country as UK. So we'll try to import uh, both the data into separate data sets in SAS. And okay, let's go. Okay, so to import the data in SAS, uh, we normally use a procedure which is called PROC import. Uh, data file, we have to give some path over here. I will provide the path later. We need to provide the SAS dataset name, so we will be saving it in a work library. So let it say, since it is a US data, so US underscore sales, okay. Then we have to, since uh, this data is being imported from an XLS file, so we have to provide that DPMS name. If you want to see this particular data, simply we need to proc print. Data equal to work dot sales. So in the data file equal to we have to provide a path. So he, here we are working in a virtual environment and we can't uh, directly mention the path of this windows file which is like this one, uh, SAS, C SAS University edition my folders, we can't directly provide this particular path. So 
if this had been a local base uh, software uh, the desktop software then we could have directly provided this particular path but in this case it's no so what we need to do over here is uh, we need to go inside the folder at the left hand side you can see folder path this is the file sales.skls okay so this particular path you need to copy it over here so it, you can see it starts from uh, slash folder slash my shortcuts slash my folders slash sales we don't have we don't require this uh, brackets okay the data name is us underscore sorry so this uh, data file has been imported and uh, you can see the result over here and uh, and we have uh, by default uh, uh, you can see the only the united states data has been imported you can see in the country there is no uk column over here in the second sheet, uh, we had a column called UK uh, in, uh, under the country. So what we need to do if we want the UK data in a separate. So simply what we need to provide is sheet equal to United Kingdom. Here we can provide the data set name as UK underscore. Yeah. So now we both the code got executed. Uh, this one in the name of UK underscore sales. Uh, the previous one was US underscore sales. And if you want to look at the data where it got stored, at the left hand side you need to go in the work. And here you can see there are two data sets are there UK underscore sales and US underscore sales. So this is how we basically import the data in SAS uh, using using the procedure called proc import. Okay, so let's quickly summarize all the steps that we did for importing our data set uh, external from the external source. So for this purpose we have used a SAS procedure called proc import and uh, while using the import we have to use a few options the first option is the data file option the second one is the out then the dpms and the last one is sheet in the data file option we have to provide the path of the uh, excel sheet um, then uh, so remember this is we are using the virtual uh, software so we have uh, provided the path differently than we would have provided if the uh, software was locally or desktop saved uh, then the next option is out where we have to provide the name of the SAS data set along with the library name. Uh, the third one is the DBMS option where we provide uh, XLSX uh, option uh, if, we are pro if we are importing the data from an XLX file. Uh, the last one is the sheet where we have provided a United Kingdom because we wanted to import the data from uh, United Kingdom sheet of the Excel file. So if we don't provide this uh, sheet option, then by default the first sheet gets imported. So so then the next procedure we have used is proc print. We have uh, also earlier used it. And if we want to see this data, so we execute proc print data equal to um, the data set name. Okay. So in today's session, we walk through the SAS installation steps and then we learn how to import external data in SAS. Hope this session was useful. In the next session, we will learn how to merge two or more desired data sets. Hope to see you again in the next session. Take care and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you have already subscribed to the channel. Thanks for that. Take care.